printed so many goddamn fucking wheels. If these wheels don't work, we're switching to a two-wheel setup. This looks like it should work, but it doesn't work. Kind of got exhausted with the one-wheel setup, so I'm ditching that. And we're moving to a two-wheel setup. It's actually a, a two-wheel, one-motor setup, so one motor powers both wheels with some gears in there. Hopefully that was work. Meantime, while that's printing, I'm gonna put up this new poster that I got. This thing actually works pretty good, which is surprising considering it's version 1. I'm expecting some extreme failure somewhere along the way. One million. We get the warhead and we hold the world ransom for... One million dollars. <laughs> Ideally, you'd want this to be a ball bearing, but I don't have any ball bearings that small. So, I'm gonna see if it's possible to 3D print a ball bearing. A little too small, I think. Let me try and adjust a few settings. All I gotta do is add that to the system and we should be good to go. Although, I do doubt the longevity of this type of thing. Uh, this is how it looks in CAD. It looks super cool in CAD. So I had a bearing and then that feeding tube right there. This bearing spins, but it doesn't seem very stable. It wants to fly off, but I'm gonna test it out anyway. Here goes nothing. I failed about three times in the last two days, which is a lot for the amount of printing I've done. So I think it's time to take a break.